All right, what's up, everybody? Um, just wanted to do a quick video in regards to me finally coming back home from the San Francisco Comic Con. Um, just show you a few things I got, and just you know, give you my thoughts on everything and a couple things that I missed that I wanted to talk about that I didn't really get. Um, first off, uh, there was a I took a picture of every like what my first. The first thing I wanted to do when I first got there is I told myself that I want, cause because of the Suicide Squad movie, you know, obviously, you know, since Harley Quinn and Joker are like popular now, I said, I bet you it's going to be a lot of Harley Quinn and Joker uh, cosplayers. And I, and I counted every last single one. Now, though I did not get every last single one in a picture, it was a lot more that I seen that I wasn't able to take pictures of because my, uh, my phone died. And, um... You know, it was a couple of cosplays that I didn't get. It was a Liu Kang there. Um, it was a real good, uh, it was another Goku that you guys didn't see with, like, Super Saiyan hair. Um, it was a guy that, and this is one of the ones that I'm mad that I really didn't, that I really didn't get. It was this cosplayer who was, like, a Thor, but he was, like, in Ronald McDonald, like, he had the Ronald McDonald face paint, and, like, his hair was red and long, and, like, he, he was, like, Ronald McDonald if Ronald McDonald was Thor. Imagine that, and I wish I would have got a picture of it. I really didn't. Um, they had uh, the voice actor, for, the English voice actor for Vegeta. He was there, um, but I couldn't get into the room because, um, you know, they closed it off, and you know, I lost my friends on, on the way there, so I didn't know where to go. Uh, but when I finally figured out, the room was already closed off. He wasn't there anymore. So, yeah. Um, but yeah. Uh, uh, I didn't get a, a chance to get into the room, you know, because it was, it was already over. So it is what it is. Um, but that's just a few of the things that I've seen there. Um, I've seen a Super Saiyan Vegeta in, like, his regular Saiyan armor. That was a cool cosplay. Um, I've seen a bunch of Harley Quinns and Jokers. But that was, you know, that was just, like, a bunch of, like, like just the, the, the things that I missed. You know, I didn't even know they had, like, a game station upstairs until I looked at one of the maps and figured it out. And another thing I'm kind of mad about... Uh, my phone died because I wasn't aware as to how big the the, uh, the, the Comic Con was in San Francisco. Like they had it at the Marriott Hotel, and me, I never been to a hotel like that before. So what do I know? I thought I thought like the bottom floor was the only uh, place where the Comic Con was being held. So I'm you know used up all my battery life just recording everything that I seen at the exhibition on the bottom floor. And it's like four more floors full of activity that I didn't even get on camera. So I missed out on that. But nevertheless, I did do some networking with people. Um, I got like a bunch of free stuff. It was some things that I wanted to get as well. Oh, and I forgot to mention this. Uh, it was this one vendor that was giving away like these 30. It, it, he had like three types of boxes. He had one for $35. I think he had one for like 45 And then he had one for 60 which was like a big, long police, you know, style box. And all of them had like mystery items in it. And I seen one person opening up their box in like the uh, in the recharge room, what they call the recharge room, which basically means you can go in there, you can rest, you can uh, like you can recharge your phone, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, but yeah, they were get, they were uh, selling those boxes, and basically they had like a really rare prize and one in every 100 boxes. And when I wanted to go back and get one, the whole uh, the whole station was uh, was was gone. They sold every box that was there, and the line went so, it, it went, the, now mind you, this, I can't give you like the square footage, and even if I did, some of you probably wouldn't even know, you know, how big that is, but just imagine, like, just like a really big fucking room, <laughs> You know, and it, it was like lined up. The, the line for that particular vendor was lined up all the way around the inside. I kid you not. It was lined up that long. And, you know, me and my uh, my friends that were with me, we were going doing other stuff. So it was like, man, we'll just come back later. And when I tried to go back later to get, you know, it was just, it was, it was all gone. Those boxes sold out. So every last single one of them sold out. I couldn't get one. And they even mentioned in one of my videos that you guys are going to see, that you guys probably already seen because I'm gonna upload those obviously before I upload this one. Um, you know, I did that I, that I wanted to get me one, and there were several things I wanted to get, but you know, it just didn't work out the way that I I hope. So I got all the free stuff that I could possibly get. So you're wondering what I got a bunch of free stuff. I got a free lift ride, 
free ride with Lyft. I don't know if that's only valid in San Francisco. I got a bunch of Star Wars, like, collectible cards for free. It was like a little Star Wars area. Um, they got, like, every Star Wars character on them. Uh, I got a bunch of business cards from some people. I traded my YouTube, like, let me... You know, you guys can take a look at these. Check them out. Give them a little bit of shout-out. I told them I was going to give them a shout-out. I'm not that important, but I can help the little guy out. Some of these, and this was like a remake. This guy right here. Like, he did, like, remakes of, um... Of, like, a video game music. Chronicles of Time, this is another one of the albums that they did. They read, they did an, an arrangement of the music for Chrono Trigger. And so definitely, that's the website, you can get it. So if, if you want it from there, you guys can get it. I'm trying to do all this. Like, all this is going to be in the video, especially this right here. This is something that interested me. The guy who created this book said The Eyes of God was basically a novel uh, of a guy who basically, I don't know, like, he didn't have any sight himself, but basically he can see through the eyes of other people, and he witnesses a murder, and everybody thought that the guy that died died through natural causes. And I guess it's going to be like, it's like an intro. He, if you watch the, the, the videos I'm going to upload, that I uploaded before this, I came across this guy. His name is, um, oh, his name right there. Jeremy Burley. I hope I, I pronounced his name right. And you can get his work at the optichouse.com. Optichouse.com. So he sold me on that. Uh, novel really good. And I, I definitely want to check some of this guy, some of this guy's stuff out, because he sold me on that project, um, hands down. Uh, let's see, we got Doug Rhodes. That's his address to his work. I think this is what was. I think he was one of the artists that was there. So check him out. Um, this is another artist that was there. I think he did comic books. We actually had a decent conversation, a little conversation about like, um, about like, uh, characters like Falcon and Luke Cage and, you know, things like that. And he remembers back when, you know, there were like, you know, Falcon was like a nobody. He still is. They made him a new Captain America, but still. But yeah, this is like one of the t-shirt vendors. I didn't really, get, I think I got some of their stuff in the video, but just in case I didn't, you guys can go there to the website and check them out. And Christy Yamaguchi, some of you may know who the hell this is, because her name actually rings bells at, at a lot of Comic Cons. Christy Yamaguchi, she actually uh, is a very good artist. She does a lot of, um, a lot of artwork. Some of it, you know, even what I've seen there is like, you know, a lot, a lot of boy on boy, and, and sometimes it's like even, you know, some, some, some girl on girl. But, you know, it's, you know, interesting artwork, you know, so I definitely want to, you know, at least that's the ones that I've seen that was right there. She had, like, some, you know, heterosexual um, pieces there. I don't want to, like, sell it like that, but, you know, if you see her artwork, she's actually, she's um, trying to shed light on a community that doesn't really give, that doesn't really get a lot of attention, really, you know, so in, like, the anime and the um, world in the western world I should say so definitely uh, check her out if you're into that type of stuff um, and she has like other stuff not just that so you may want to check her out anyway she's really good because um, I, I heard of her, of her before uh, she does great work uh, then we got the fifty, the 551st Legion um, this is just like their uh, little website I don't know if this is a cosplay group that does like Star Wars cosplays or what but I don't really know, so you guys want to check them out and find them out for yourself, so I don't really know too much about them, so that's them, and uh, I got like one of these posters for my friend, it's just a San Francisco Comic Con poster, um, he actually got three of them, he didn't want three, so he gave me one, um, can't really get a good look at it because of that damn glare, 
It was supposed to be like a cosplay Batman, Deadpool, whoever the fuck that is, and, and some Star Wars uh, Jedi. All type of, and it's a, um, I don't know. If that, I don't know what the name of that Star Wars character ball thing is. I seen a guy pushing that around in like a stroller. So definitely, it was a it was a fun experience for me. I kind of wish I was able to get some of the stuff that I wanted to get, but you know, due to unfortunate circumstances that were beyond my control, uh, I wasn't able to. So it is what it is. So I, I had fun, and I hope that the next one I go to is. Oh, I don't, I don't think I showed you guys these. You know, I got two of these right here. So. I didn't think I got one, I uh, ended up getting one anyway. So, I just want to show you guys these. There's not really any on, anything on the back besides like information about the character. So I got some little, you know, trinkets here and there, but it's, it's, it's not really a lot of stuff, but it was enough for me. You know, I had fun. I liked it. So next time I'm definitely going to, because I had the money to get the stuff. I just, you know, it was just bad timing between going through the floors and my phone dying and, and et cetera, et cetera. But I had fun. You know, it was a good, uh, it was a good experience. So I like it. I liked it. Um, I just, you know, they got another one tomorrow, but unfortunately I can't go to that one. Um, it was an odd situation because me, I actually called out of work for this. Uh, I didn't mean to, I didn't intend to call out work. It just happened like that because, uh, I injured my leg yesterday and I know at work, I was going to have to do a lot of heavy lifting. And with me doing that heavy lifting, I know I wasn't going to be able to operate, you know, at full, at my best, you know, and even walking around the convention, I had to do like a bunch of, uh, I had to sit down quite a few times. Uh, just to get my composure and, you know, stop my leg from hurting. It's, it's just like flare-ups that happen occasionally throughout the year. Um, they have, this is like the first time it happened in 2016, I think since like early 2015. It's the first time that, it, that, that it's ever happened. So they're happening less and less. It's just that this is like the most recent one. It just happened yesterday. And I, I know I wasn't going to be able to work, you know. They had me on schedule for from like 10 to 7, man, I wasn't able to do that, not on this leg, because I was hopping up the stairs just to get home, you know, <laughs> I was hopping all around the convention, like, you know, I, I knew that at least at the convention, I could sit down and take my breaks here and there, you know, it's like at work, it's like on demand, when they need me, I need to be ready, and I, I, it just would have been bad, my health is more important than my job, even though I like my, my job, I do like my job, it's just that, you know, at that time, it, I, I knew it wasn't going to be... It wasn't the best thing for me to go. And plus, I, you know, I can afford, you know, one time, you know, calling out. I don't like calling out, though, especially when I got long shifts like that. Uh, they probably were shorthanded today, so I do feel bad. But I figured, you know, since I wasn't going to be able to work, you know, uh, without hurting myself even more and doing all that heavy lifting on this, um, my leg is kind of swollen. Uh, that's why I can't move it around as much. You know, I was again, I was limping all around the convention. Uh, going slow, just taking my time, and uh, I didn't, um, I didn't really get to enjoy a great deal of that because of it, you know, so it is what it is, um, you know, but I'm, a, I'm getting better now, I took aspirins, and they're kicking in, but, you know, I'm still limping though, it's not to where it's like, it's painful, if I don't lift my leg up as much, but it's still, you know, an issue. So hopefully by tomorrow, you know, cause I'm going to work tomorrow regardless, but hopefully by then things will be better for me. Um, but yeah, that's it, man. I, but like I said, I had fun at the convention. I enjoyed it. Um, can't wait to go to another one. There's supposed to be another one, I think January 27th through the 29th in Ontario, California. And I think I'm gonna go to that one at the Ontario Convention Center. So I think I might go to that one and check that one out because I definitely want to go to that one. And um, yeah, man. So thank you guys for watching. Peace. Hope you guys enjoyed everything I've shown. Check out the artists and their works. I, I'm definitely going to check out Christine Yamaguchi in, uh, in, uh, in, in, in the Eyes of God uh, novel.
and Eye, Eye of the Gods. And I'm definitely going to check that one out. That one was inter- that one really interested me. Uh, and it was another one I think called Prince Princeless. It was another good one. Um, but yeah, it was good. So thank you guys for watching. Peace. I'm getting me some rest.